Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast and I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by Amy Greaterex. Amy, before we talk about that tweet and the wonderful world of boxing that rallied together, um, how's life? How's things? Really good, thank you. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a week, but all yeah. is good. Well, let's talk about then, obviously, you you're, you were due to make your pro debut. Let's go back a couple of days, like last week, four or five days ago. You were, you're due to make your, your professional debut. And we all know about these small hole shows. You, they need to make the money to get the fighters over and whatnot. Now, you had to sell £700 worth of tickets or your fight was getting pulled. Now, you put out a tweet explaining all this. And just explain to me what happened next. Well, it was actually £1,500 worth. Wow. Um, but obviously, I put 700 Just the fact that we were having to try and figure out how to make some money ourselves, basically, because I didn't think I'd be able to do 1500 Oh, well, I didn't think I'd be able to do 700 to be fair. Um, obviously got the message on Monday saying, um, we've got to make this amount um, or it's getting pulled. Um, I was struggling to sell tickets as it is. I had loads of people that knew the date, but were going, yeah, yeah, let me know when you've got tickets. We'll definitely buy them. Then as soon as I'd got the tickets, it went silent. Mm. Um, so obviously put that tweet out. I did not expect anyone to see it. I didn't hashtag it or anything because I, I only had like maybe 200 followers on Twitter. Um, so I I basically used Twitter as an online diary just to vent my frustrations because I knew that none of my friends were on it. So I could moan without people seeing it basically. Um, like I said, didn't expect anyone to see it. And then it just blew up and it's it's been crazy. I'm so humbled by it all. Did not expect it at all. Well, there was big names in the boxing world uh, that obviously saw your tweet and offered to help. Well, I mean, Sonny Edwards, Fraser Clark, Lee, and just to name a few. When you saw this, what was your initial reaction or your emotions to all this? I was gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> I was sending messages back and forth to my coach going, what's going on here? Like, I'd, I really didn't expect it. And I'm one of those people that I try and do everything myself. Don't expect anything from anyone. Obviously, never expect anything from big names in boxing that don't even know who I am. Um, but I, I was just humbled by it. Uh, it. made me a bit emotional, to be fair. And I'm not an emotional person. <laughs> so for them to do that for me... It, it was just amazing. Uh, well, your, your pro debut's happening now. Um, I mean, for somebody that's uh, been in boxing and, and you're, you're, you're going to make your professional debut, that sort of like roller coaster ride of it almost getting pulled and then everyone rallying behind you and it's going ahead again, I mean, that must have been an absolute tour of time for you when you heard that. And obviously you vented your frustrations on, on Twitter. But I, I guess now you've got more following on Twitter. You've got a bigger following now. So people are going to start seeing oh, yeah. your tweets. So you, you might have to stop moaning on Twitter and use that as a diary. <laughs> I know. I've got to start using it properly, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess it's, I think it's gone up by about 1,600 now, just in the past two days. It's, it's been crazy. Well, listen, your pro debut's next week. You're, you're getting to fight. Uh, when was the last time you fought? Have you got edgy knuckles? You're just raring to go now? The last time I fought was end of January 2020 because lockdown stopped mm -hmm. us. And then um, I started turning over just as we'd come out of the lockdowns. So I've not actually had chance yet. I was meant to have my pro debut in August, but that got stopped because of uh, a discrepancy with my licence. So I thought to have that back. And now, obviously, now my debut's next week. <laughs> with all this going on and you know, mental discrepancies, lockdowns, the discrepancy with your license, the whole tweet getting pulled back on. I mean, is this girl getting it on next week? I mean, what's the, you've got a lot of frustration. You're going to take it out on her? Definitely. Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, I've been hitting those bags hard, so she's going to get it hard next week. <laughs> when you look at right now, women's boxing is 
I mean, it's, 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 it's on fire in terms of look at the, the big fights we've had this year. When you just look at the, the, the fights at the elite level with Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, then Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields. And then obviously you've got the fighters, <clears throat> all the women that are showing up and showing out. Natasha Jonas, I mean, after a Katie Taylor loss and the Terry Harper draw, then she's now unified world champion. Women's boxing is, is flying at the moment. So for you to add your name into the mix, you must be very excited about that. Massively excited, yeah. Um, it's it has been a dream of mine to get this far, and I actually never thought I could. Um, I am quite old to be starting out. I think I am thirty six. I wasn't going to ask you. I wasn't going to ask you. Is, don't worry. I am thirty six. Um, but young at art, fitness yep. is young. <laughs> um, so to, for it actually to be happening, and like you say, to get my name in in with all those greats. It's a daydream. I I can't believe it's happening still. So uh, it's an amazing achievement for me. Get this one out of the way, obviously, your pro debut. And hopefully this is things start ticking over and start getting, looking up for yourself. So when you're going into 2023, what are you hoping for? Are you hoping for four or five, four or five fights next year? Or uh, I know you're from Chesterfield, maybe a, a show in Chesterfield or something like that. What are you hoping for for 2023? Um, well, my team are wanting to get me out as much as they can. Um, so as as many as we can. I, like I said, I'm I am thirty six. I feel feel a bit like I'm not as young as the other ones that are coming through. So I can't as take my time as much if that makes sense. So I I feel like I've got to kind of catapult myself into there and get as much out of it as I can in a short space of time. Um, I'd love to get titles under my belt. Mm -hmm. Um. I'd love to be fighting in an arena as well. So that will be amazing if I can manage that in 2023. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Well, well, sometimes it's, uh, a gentleman shouldn't ask a, a woman her weight, but what weight class will you be campaigning at? Uh, lightweight. Lightweight. Uh, well, that's all them girls that I mentioned, that's where they are. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. So you never know. Obviously, going in, I mentioned 2023 and getting four or five fights, but the stress of this pro debut was selling tickets. Are you hoping your second fight and your third fight will be less stressful in terms of these ticket sales and whatnot? I'm hoping so, yeah. It's not the best time of year, really, is it, near mm. Christmas to um, have a pro debut? Because your debut is always the harder one to sell for, isn't it? So to add in Christmas in there as well, um, I'm hoping, yeah, after Christmas, people have a bit more money people from Chesterfield, my friends and family are going to be able to afford it a bit more. So fingers crossed, less stress. <laughs> yeah, I've got my fingers crossed for you. But listen, you're here now, you're a week away. Uh, like I said, your women's boxing is flying at the moment. Hopefully 2023 is a big year for you. And you mentioned that you are 36 a couple of times there. Do you feel like you need to be fast-tracked a little bit quicker then? Is that how you feel going into 2023? I, yeah, I feel that that's what needs to happen really um been held back a bit in my amateur career um so i th think now they need to chuck me in there basically obviously to what i can do but yeah fast track me um put like i said get as much out of what we can in a short space of time definitely but listen hopefully this is the first of many interviews and you can keep Clocking up them wins in 2023 is a big year for you. But have you got a message for like the boxing community and obviously the helping hand that they all done for you? I know you sent out a message on, on, on Twitter. I've seen that video message as well, but you've got another platform to just to say thank you if you want to. Yeah, honestly, I can't thank them enough. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I've been humbled by it all. Uh, thank you, like I said uh, before, to Sonny Edwards, Fraser Clark, Lee Eaton, Jack Shaw. Lucy McDonald, um, Jamie Robinson, Aid, I can't pronounce his surname, that's really bad, isn't it? Aida that's it. <laughs> um, and everyone else that's messaged, and, you know, if I've missed anyone, I do apologise, but off the top of my head, I'm really rubbish. Um, but, yeah, I, I just can't believe that they've done that for me to help me to get to where I'm going. Um, and, like I said, I'm in awe of them all, and I'm, I'm very humbled. Well, all their names will be on my fight shirt as well. <laughs> oh, there you go then. That's that's perfect. That that'll be a nice little gesture. But 
Amy, listen, like I said, this might be the first of many interviews. If you keep winning and you keep maybe getting these title shots and whatnot, so you'll probably see more of me. But until then, enjoy your debut. You only get one. And uh, listen, good luck with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. See you later. Bye. Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.